I can't break myself of thinking he'll be there. I'll hear a footfall behind me or see a shadow on the wall, and I'll turn and expect to see Artur there smiling at me. But he never is. I'm not sure which is worse, Dane, having buried our oldest son, or not knowing if we'll have to do the same for our youngest. Ethan's absence weighs upon me as well, Mariella. But no amount of discussion could convince him that he was simply a convenient trigger and not the cause of this conflict. We'll bury far too many of this kingdom's sons and daughters before our war with the Ravens is done. I pray Ethan is not among them. Victor had long stoked the fires of war. Now that he's fanned those flames to life, I wonder if any of us will be untouched by them. Father! Father, there's news. What news, Kai? Is it your brother? No word from Ethan, but our informants on the Eastern Shore have contacted us. It's King Victor. Victor? What's he done now? Died. Died? How? What's happened? The details aren't completely clear, but we know the King is dead. The youngest child is rumored responsible. Regicide. Victor forced this war, but I would not have wished this fate upon him. The throne belongs to the eldest now? To Braun? Aye, Father. The man who murdered Artor now sits upon the Raven throne. This bodes ill for the war. How so? Won't this throw the Ravens into a disarray that will be to our advantage? I knew Victor. I could predict him. At best, Braun is a wild card. At worst, he could be a madman. And Ethan went to the east vowing to slay him. It gives me no comfort knowing Elena is in the East as well, but at least she's secure behind the walls of the fortress she and her troops took. With Ethan, we have no way of knowing if he's even alive. I want this piece of meat removed from my throne hall, and have that humpback freak executed as well. Come along! I won't let this end like- You weren't satisfied with father. You had to murder him as well? My first instinct was to escape and avenge father another day. But I'm glad I thought better of it. For everything you've done, brother, you deserve to die. You have any idea what I can do? Any? I planned on waiting for a very public execution for you, dear sister. I thought the people needed closure. They needed to see the cold-blooded murderer of their beloved king put to the death she so richly deserves. But patience was never one of my virtues. See you burn. So why don't we put an end to this here and now? You know, I don't think father actually believed I'd do it right up to the end. I could have killed him with a touch, but then I couldn't have blamed you as readily, could I? Frankly, it was more satisfying hearing his brittle old bones break anyway. But you, Ashley, you believe I'll do it. Do you know what my reign's going to be remembered for? Winning this war for one. I'm going to crush the Herons. Once that's done, I'll turn my full attention to your precious underground. I'll hunt down every last one of them, and their corpses will decorate the street corners. That's what I'll be remembered for, dear sister. Take that knowledge with you to your grave! Let her go. I killed you! How can you be alive? I don't understand how you did that to Ashley. I don't understand how I'm alive. But I promise you won't be for much longer. We would have preferred to find a way to use you, Sigil Bearer. But removing you from the field can serve our purposes just as... I can't allow that to happen. I won't have my plans upset by your interference. <laughs> I would have died if not for you. And I thought you were dead. So did I. Ethan, we need to get out of the keep. Not yet. I'm not too weak to finish this. Kill them. Kill them all! Surrender yourselves. We'll make it quick. Ethan, this way. I came here to avenge my brother. Not now you're not. Come, we're getting out of here. 
How? There isn't a way out. Yes, there is. You can't be serious. <gasps> Damn them. Send troopers into the city to bring them back. Alive or dead. I don't care which at this point. They won't get far. No one will dare take them in. You were serious. No time. <coughs> no time to rest. We have to get moving. Moving where? We're fugitives in the middle of the Raven capital. I think we're a little too conspicuous to blend in with the crowd. I know, people. We have to get clear of this city as quickly as possible. Are you gonna be able to make it? Right behind you. Good. You're doing pretty well for someone who's supposed to be dead. I'll keep up. Just... Ugh, sorry. Hey! Just tell me where we're going. There. There? Rudd, we need your help. Ashley, I wasn't expecting you. To what do I owe the surprise? I don't have much time to explain, Rudd, but Bronze murdered my father and taken the throne. He's blaming me for the crime. He would have had me executed if I hadn't escaped. I know your brother's a bad seed, but this... I damn myself for not seeing it in time. Rudd, we need to be out of the city and on our way to the sanctuary. Your friend can be trusted. He's even more of a fugitive than I am. Ethan, this is Rudd. The Underground has supporters other than me. That's a recognizable face you wear, Prince. You're lucky you fell in with Ashley. Where does it lead? It'll take you out to the Barrens beyond the city wall. More than a few lesser race slaves have used it to leave their chains behind. There are lanterns and food waiting down there. Thank you, Rudd. Anything for you, Ashley. You know that. Get yourselves moving right away. And be careful. Your brother's going to tear apart this city looking for you. You be careful, too. Bronze hands don't need any more blood on them. It's not my blood he wants. Thank you for helping us. You thank me by taking care of Ashley. Watch your steps, King. The stairs are a little slick. This is how you usually get out of the city? One of the ways. How long will it take us to get beyond the walls? Only a few hours. The tunnel runs in a fairly straight line. Before we go, I need to ask you about the power your brother had. Do you know how he... <sighs> What are you doing? Hardly even a scar. My brother ran you through. You should be dead, but you hardly even have a scar. How is that possible? I don't know. That's the truth. I don't. Obviously, it has something to do with this sigil on my arm, like when Bronn cut my face and I healed. But I don't think I was dead. I think I was dying, and it saved me. Can you be killed? I'm sure if the wound was bad enough, but what's bad enough? I hope you never have to find out. You heard what Rudd said. We shouldn't waste time. Wait, back in the keep, in the throne hall, what made you come back? I'm not sure. To see if you were still alive. To see if Bronn was dead. I couldn't bring myself to go with you when you asked me, but I couldn't bring myself to just walk away, either. I'm glad you're not dead. Thanks. We're both wanted now. Braun won't rest until he has us. The only safe place we can go is the Sanctuary. I asked you to join me once before. The situation's not much different now. The only reason I came here again was to avenge Artur's death by killing your brother. After that, I intended to return to the West, to my family, and help with the war. That's not going to happen, is it? You'll never get close enough to Braun. Not now. Even if you could, no. I don't know where his power came from, though I'm sure my Shen is involved. Neither of us is ready to take him on until we understand what he's become. I'm going north to the Sanctuary. Do whatever you want afterward, but I could use your help getting there. And whether I'm part of the Raven Dynasty or not, you need my help or you're never gonna get out of the city. Much less across the Great Sea and home again. So, are you coming with me or not? Skink, is this okay with you? I go where you go, Ethan. I truthfully don't think we have much choice. All right, as far as the sanctuary, but then I go home. Well then, looks like we're stuck with each other. For a while. Right, for a while. <laughs> <laughs>